Hi Libra, welcome to your romantic love reading for the month of February 2019. This channel is called The Witching Hour. My name is Michelle and I'm a witch. Some white sage for you. Get our cards ready. Welcome back. This is a romantic love reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, however Libra places in your chart. And I am using Eileen Connolly's um, tarot, the Connolly tarot, created by Eileen Connolly, illustrated by her son, Peter Paul Connolly. At the end of the reading, I will use Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards. Those are created by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia K. Peters. They're illustrated by Richard Crux. They're a very beautiful deck. I recommend them highly to anyone. They're very beautiful. They have a lot of good energy. Beautiful illustrations on them. Gorgeous. And... I would like to evoke the elements of earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. I greet the directions of north, east, south, and west. I pray for a clear reading, clear understanding, illumination, protection, and guidance. I pray to be guided by the divine and all of our allies in spirit, our guardians, spirit guides, ancestors, and loved ones in spirit. So may it be. So this is a romantic love reading. More geared towards singles, but couples, uh, if you're coupled, you can get something out of this as well. Use your own intuition to apply that to a coupled situation. Okay? This is for future, who is my future love partner? New love. New love. Libra. February 2019. I think that's it. I think they are ready. Yes. Underlying energy Libra is the Two of Wands. See the gorgeous colors of these cards? And this is an old vintage deck, but they have I don't think they've ever been used. Two of Wands. This is when you're at a crossroads. This is what's going on. A choice, a crossroads in a relationship. Crossroads in your life. The first card you get, Libra, the person who's coming in is very spiritual, loving, kind, and nurturing. How you meet is through, depicted by the magician, probably through a helper, matchmaker um, type thing, even if it's on in person or online, someone sets you up. But I also feel that you've been manifesting this. So I think you're manifesting this, this is how you meet, and they're manifesting you. That's how you meet. That's very significant to get that card for how you meet. The magician because that's showing you that the divine is helping you so you may get assistance you might get a friend or a relative come in and say hey I know someone you'd love to to get to know better and um, even if it's online dating it's almost as if heaven has your back you know that type of thing someone is behind the scenes helping to make this happen with you your first impression of them is you're wondering if it's going to go anywhere we have the eight of swords so my feeling is that you want to wait your first impression is wanting to wait maybe before you even go out on that first date maybe some of you are still wondering if dating is really what you want to do now but keep this in mind keep this in mind this is what you've been manifesting this is what you've wanted Maybe you want to take more time to think about the details of this person's personality that you're creating, having come into your life. Um, I don't feel that uh, that's a bad thing to want to wait, but I also feel that you don't have anything to worry about. 
I think that the person's effect on you will be that of temperance. They'll help you maintain your balance. They will help you blend what you're manifesting with what you already have manifested in your life this far. I think this describes alchemy. This describes the person's compatibility with you. That's what I think. It creates a lot of patience. It creates a lot of balance in your life. That's their effect on you personally. They might be a little hesitant uh, to, to be open a little bit. They might be a little bit shy. They might be a little bit like at a crossroads themselves, like they're waiting for something to transpire in their lives. And you're catching them at what seems to them to be a bad time. This is what I'm getting. You're catching them at what seems to them to be a bad time, but which is a good time for you and a good time for you to meet. That's what I'm getting from spirit. The nature of this relationship is depicted in the card of the high priestess. So this is an intuitive uh, relationship. I'm, I'm getting the sign of Scorpio, but that's possibly because of the high priestess, which reminds me of someone who's extremely highly intuitive, a deep person. A deep person this person is in the middle of, of waiting for something it's like there's a pause it's like God hit the pause button in their life for some reason and and you pop up that's what I feel it's like you're popping up in their life and I think maybe it was a little bit unexpected for this to happen I think they were focused on something else even though they have been manifesting. I think they've been praying a lot is what they've been doing. Thinking about it a lot and ma and manifesting almost without trying. Um, your challenges will be, okay, so this is the emperor. What I call this part of the reading is the crucible. This is the part in a relationship with someone that will either bring out the best or the worst in you. It will either bring you together or it will drive you apart. It's like a testing ground, okay? To me, what I'm picking up on, this person feels that maybe there are, this could be a person who is maybe being blocked by legalities or formalities of some description, like a change in job, a change in marital status, like if they're getting divorced or they're breaking up, or uh, they have something going on in the court system, or they have... Um, there's a change going on that's it's pushing the pause button on their life. It's a transition for them, but I don't see it as being negative. What's I'm not getting anything negative whatsoever. I think they create a lot of balance for you. I think they're highly intuitive. The nature of the relationship is a spiritual one. And the only challenges would be, I'm getting like in the workplace or boss figure is what I'm getting. Like a boss figure, like it's almost like they're waiting to hear from someone else to get hired again, rehired, or they're waiting for a pay raise. It's like they're waiting for an authoritative figure to give them the green light. Okay, that's what I'm getting very strongly. And this being in the challenge position is because it affects their personal life, which then affects their personal decisions. And why would this be a challenge in your relationship? Because maybe this person is accustomed to waiting to hear back from others as opposed to being more assertive. So you might feel that they're not assertive enough. And that might just be, you know, everybody has their quirks and it might be that that is the case. However, the end result is they do get the job. They do do the work. You both do. This this is a highly good card. This is, um, I want to say, the Sun in Virgo. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the Sun in Virgo, I believe. And they are going to pay attention to the details. They are going to work with you. This could be someone that you do meet at work. So if you're the one who's waiting for this new job, like almost like um, like 
you're transferring from one location to another it's a job transfer type of situation just for example or this other person is it's like as soon as you get the green light from your boss or from this new company you get there and there they are there's this person and you meet them at work and, um, and outside of work if it isn't that you meet them at work this person is a diligent worker on relationships and so are you I feel that it's gonna bring you a lot of balance a lot of peace of mind um, they might be or you might be someone who procrastinates or waits for someone else to tell you what the next step is and that will be the challenge in your relationship but all in all at the end of the day it's going to work out it's going to work out you're gonna be able to incorporate it it's going to feel emotionally satisfying even though you will have to work at it it will be gratifying work the overall effect on you is the two of swords the relationship will be able to give you discernment and that's the nature of the relationship it's how this relationship will serve you is that it will give you intuition it will hone your intuition because instead of waiting for someone else to tell you what to do and making decisions in life as a couple you individually will both hone the ability to cultivate your own intuition as opposed to relying on someone else and what you'll learn we have the tower so this might be kind of earth it's what I just heard was it'll help you deal with surprises it'll help you deal with the unexpected that's really interesting I've never heard that in a reading before this relationship what you will learn from it is that it will help you deal with the unexpected because it's going to hone your intuition you're going to be the one to decide to make the choices based on your intuition and that's what this is it's a choice card it's another crossroads card that you're getting it's a crossroads and when you're at a crossroads you have to rely on your intuitive instincts as opposed to relying upon the established status quo authority figure etc that type of thing and this relationship will work it's gonna work in a really good way you're gonna pay attention to the details sometimes people have to look at the bigger picture I feel that in your situation with this person you're gonna be um, honing in on the details and that's kinda of where your attention will be and your intuition yours and theirs is going to develop a lot by being together um, I just got like you know that Bible verse I think it's a Bible verse one sword sharpens the other you know that as iron sharpens iron or something like that that's how you guys are gonna be you're gonna help each other create more like mental acuity and and clearer thinking and think more based on your instincts instead of uh, going with the status quo I think that's the life changer here I think some of you are poised for making a very big life change and you're going to be glad that that you were given the time the universe is giving you time and making you wait in order to meet this right person who's coming and their energy is getting stronger in February if you don't meet them in February it's it sure is getting stronger so here to remind you is that two of wands it's that crossroads card so we have the one wand that is stationary and then you have the one wand that is being brought to you by heaven and it gets you to rely on your instincts and that's really what this reading is all about I, I feel there's a lot of divine appointment in this meeting in this coming together with this person if you don't meet them in February the energy is getting much stronger in February and you're gonna meet them soon otherwise it wouldn't be showing up I do feel that um, someone has been manifesting something in uh, this relationship and that's why this card showed up very first one after their the description of the person it's like heaven hears you heaven's been working with you it is in the works it is most definitely in the works and you'll be glad that there was that pause either it's for them or you and caused by whatever life situation but you're gonna be glad for it I I feel it very distinctly you're gonna be glad that you had to wait it's gonna give you the time you needed 
to hone in and really discern what qualities um, in your life you want this person to help you with. It's almost like instead of what I feel from you, Libra, is that instead of manifesting just a partner, you're manifesting a life partner, a life partner, not just someone you're going to have a relationship with. It's more like you want them involved in your life in making plans and setting goals and not just any goals, but like um, that you both have a parallel path with each other, re whether regarding career specifically or life purpose specifically, like what you want to do in the world. It's like you're manifesting that right now is what I'm getting. And I think you're going to be very, very surprised at the results. Very surprised at the results when you um, eventually meet this person. The card underlying the deck of Witch's Wisdom is security, the Witch's Cottage. So I think you're really creating a home for yourself, a whole life for yourself, a cottage industry. You might be creating a business partner for yourself and your new lover ends up becoming your business partner or your vice versa. Your new business partner ends up becoming your lover and your life partner. That's really nice. And the card we have chosen is the main card, Altar Dedication. So keep putting your magical intentions on the altar. Set something in front of you on a daily basis. Charge an object and carry it around with you. I'm getting this channeled. Charge an object and carry it around with you wherever you go. This object should hold your energy a lot. And you're putting it on your altar and... and lighting possibly a red or a pink candle if if it's relationship related then you want to put this object on the altar and light the appropriate colored candle which for me is red for uh, romantic relationships and charge this with your energy only your energy that the essence of you whether it be a clear quartz crystal or anything any a personal object that is charged with only your energy and that you set this on your altar and let the altar do the work for you. Let the object do the work for you. And that this object should have your energy in it. And that you will attract this person to you through that. So look up a spell or something like that. Or create one on your own. Those are always the best ones is to create one on your own. That's what I'm getting from that. Um, dedication. Keeping focused. Keeping focused on this. So I hope that helped Libra. If you would like to connect with a personal reading or to donate to this channel, the links are in the drop down box below. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you'd like more videos. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, check out the video library to see what other uh, signs resonate for you that are in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, etc. And until we meet again, from my soul to yours, much, much love and brightest blessings. Take care. Bye-bye.